Today we're going to be talking about uh, Beat Surfing's new VST that they just dropped, uh, Low. It's a bass synthesizer. Bass synthesizer. It is a bass synthesizer um, that has some filters built into it. Um, what I think is some sort of wavetable oscillators. It's it's pretty cool. If you're into the whole dubstep craziness, um, this would probably be right up your alley. If you are into experimentation and just making things sound all fucked up, then this is also going to be something that you'll probably like a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it up here. So this is low. Um, the graphical user interface is nice. Um, everything's pretty well thought out. Um, they have a bright setting. But look at my face. Like, it's so bright. <laughs> yeah big bright white it's super bright so no thank you dark mode for life so low is essentially a bass synthesizer it starts you know you start with an oscillator you sculpt it and make it what you want it to be through filters um, and a lot of other different options it's really well put together i really like the way they have it laid out here everything's pretty easy uh to, f to find and once you you know you learn how to use it you can really make some some crazy sounds and as a person that's really into experimental music like myself it's it's right up my alley yeah you start with the oscillator move on to the filters make it how you want it to sound <laughs> I have no effects on that, so that is dry. Um, and you hold it down. So, so the thing that you're gonna notice about this and that you're gonna see that's prevalent through the entirety of the experience of using this software is you start with an attack, then you have this um, middle section that loops as long as you hold the key down. And once you let go, and then it's gonna do, go through the release and that that's gonna be the third portion of every single one of these even when you go over your, your filters uh, you have the same thing you have these uh, uh, the attack section the looping mid section and then the release so see how if you hold down the key like I am right now um, it'll just sit here and loop in this middle part right here and you can sculpt that to kind of make it do whatever you want and I think that sounds really really cool And then when you let go, that's what the release sounds like. So, so yeah, that's how that works. Um, like I said earlier, I don't know that this is actually like wavetable synthesis. It feels like wavetable synth synthesis. I have all these different engines, which I feel like are just wavetables, but they're not, I guess. They didn't say that specifically anyway. And then this seating right here feels like when you go through a wavetable and, you know, you choose the part of your wavetable that you're wanting or, or you automate that part of the wavetable. So, I mean, it even sounds like it. Um, choose from these different types of engines. Each one sounds wildly different. It sounds great. Lots of options. One thing about low is you're going to do things on accident. There's lots of fuck ups that's gonna like be good things. But yeah, I'll go through some the rest of these engines. There's roughly like twelve, I think, or Whoa. I like that one a lot. is dirty. Anyways, yes, lots of different different ones. You know, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to shape the pitch of the impact. So if you change the pitch. And then how long the release of the kick. some gnarly sounds with this i'm telling you now i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not 100 percent sure what absolute does it sounds like yeah we need something to do with going through the range pitch range maybe i don't know anyways they have built-in tables here that you can use as well that is how that works and it's the same thing with the pitch drop over here 
when you let go of the key, that's what this is going to do. Octave, that pretty much just raises it uh, an octave or lowers it. Retrigger. Yeah, going between keys, it's just going to immediately retrigger the, the, the sound. But if you turn that off, then it's going to glide. It's going to affect how long it's, it's going to take for it to glide to the next note. Which is pretty cool if you're trying to make that dubstep stuff. All right, so DNA gain, I mean, essentially that's controlling the volume of uh, your oscillator. So, so this is pretty much just a graph of what it's gonna do to the volume. Um, and it's also got libraries that you can use. And then you can sync it, it looks like, to your DAW. And you can change how fast and slow it goes. So release is how fast it plays this last part. Attack is how fast it plays the first part. Uh, I mean, it's pretty basic stuff. Mutate is going to be essentially an envelope. It's going to control the attack and release of the oscillator. Then over here, you color, which just kind of adds some transients to it. A little bit of highs, so let's see. <laughs> Man, that's cool. I really like that. And that could be so much fun. You can make some crazy stuff with this. And then this does the exact same thing, but for the low end, so. Kind of give it that glitchy effect. Broken TV kind of sound. These controls up here at the top, uh, they, they stay the same regardless of which um, tab you're on. But fractals is, uh, I mean, this entire modifiers section here is just kind of kind of break things up and, and make them a little more unpredictable and sound a little crazier. So if you notice when I move this fract fractal um, knob, you're going to see um, kind of a, a transparent, um, transparent curves coming up down here. So... You see that right there now here and I have a phone call got my headphones on I'm talking to the camera right now all right bye so yeah it's uh, it's gonna break things up um, and it's gonna make it sound a little a little crazier a little nastier a little messier if you move the offset it just kind of moves it to put it where you want and then contrast moves those peaks up and down so they're a little bit more violent, um, which I like. That made me sound like some sort of serial killer. Really emphasizes those sharp peaks in the uh, waveform. Transpose and fine tune, bend them out. That's all exactly what they sound like, you, you know, all that good stuff. So filters, pretty much the exact same as oscillators. This is gonna be your highs, this is gonna be your mid, and this is gonna be your low. So if I go over here and I take this gain down here, and you're only gonna hear the highs. We'll bring in these lows, or sorry, these mids. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can change the rate, how fast it goes um, through the waveform. Uh, you can, once again, you can sync it to the DAW um, and that is pretty much low. It's not super complicated. It looks complicated when you first open it, um, but uh, there's a lot of room for experimentation. Uh, you could, I could play with it all day. And I also find myself sometimes um, getting the parameters to a point where it almost just sounds like a normal synth and I get some really cool synth lines out of it too. I mean, I know it's supposed to be for bass, uh, but there's some, there's some, there's a lot of things you can do with it. All right. So I put together just a, a quick little tune here so you can just kind of hear it in action. Um, I'm also interestingly using random, uh, which is beat surfing's other program. It, it adds a really interesting characteristic to the kick and, um, and also the trailing of it. I, I added some distortion to it to kind of mix them together. So it is making this noise. 
I added some distortion to it. Uh, my favorite distortion of all time, which is by Aberrant DSP. It's called Cataclysm. Um, it's fantastic. I got low. Uh, I just EQ'd low. I didn't add any kind of distortion or anything to that. Analog Lab by Arturia. I just got a sequence. I just pulled a sequence out of there and added it to it and EQ'd it. And then got some drums. And this is what it sounds like. That's low. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's a really good program. Um, I will say they did send it to me for free. Um, that doesn't change anything. I mean, I reached out to them because I thought it looked cool. Um, and it turns out it was. So good for them. Um, if you want it, you can find it on their website. I don't have any affiliate links or anything. Um, but you can go to the website, pick it up. It's on sale right now. I think 40 something dollars or 70. I don't know. Actually, I can tell you. Hold on. 44 bucks. That's not a bad price for something like that, honestly. Yeah, go grab it if you like it. If you don't, don't. I appreciate you watching the video. I just released a weird song, if you want to call it that. Uh, I just uploaded it earlier today. It's called uh, Trapped in the Noise. Uh, let me know what you think. Peace out.